Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're taking a look at some dark theme compatible icons for LibreOffice. Now I've got LibreOffice open right here, and it is running the Cipher icon theme. And as you can see, <clears throat> with a dark theme, it's really hard to to read the uh, the various icons. Now, some of the older icon sets, they were while I didn't particularly like the the look of the icons, they were at least readable on on dark themes. And uh, well, let me go and drag over. I've got Synaptic Package Manager open here, and you can see, you know, if if you just do a search, uh, and this whether you're on you know Ubuntu base or or an Arch base, you know whatever, just go and do a search for LibreOffice dash style and it should give you a list of all the various icon themes that you have available. And as you can see here, I've I've installed everything that is uh, available in the Ubuntu repositories. And some of these icon themes, uh, like I said, they're much more visible when you're when you're running a dark theme. And just as an example, I will show you, let's go and we'll open up uh, if you go under where is it tools options and uh, if you go to view and you can see right now I've got the cipher icon set selected so like say for example uh, I don't know let's take a look at the oxygen icons click OK boom as you can see a whole lot more readable but I don't particularly like the icons and you know for a lot of the icon sets you know it's it's kind of the same thing at least for me I really don't like the look of them if you do a hey, great you're in good shape as far as uh, you know running with the dark icon themes but the, the theme that I really like the, the the icon theme I really like one I like the cipher which I was just showing you and then there is also the breeze theme uh, which was just introduced recently and once again terrible visibility when it comes to a dark theme however there are some uh, workarounds for that and let me drag over there we go I, I got Google Chrome up in here one on um, uh, over at gnome look and I'll leave uh, I'll leave links for this so you can find this uh, over at Gnome Look, there is a Cipher icon pack that has been reworked so that it is much more visible when you're running a dark theme. So you can download that. Also, I found a dark version of the Breeze theme over at the Arch user repository. Let me move my picture out of the way here. And while you can't like say if you're if you're on a Ubuntu based or say Fedora based or whatever you can't use the Arch user repository but you can come down here where it says sources and download the icons just click on that download the tar file uh, which is what I did and uh, then then you can install these and then essentially the same thing over at gnome look go and download and uh, install the uh, and install the uh, the icons from there. Now for installing these icon themes, it's it's actually not too difficult. You want to open up your file manager. Here, let me go and uh, get this out of the way first. Open up your file manager, and you're going to need root privileges to do this. Um, let me drag this over here. I opened up two windows of my of my file manager, and the place that your LibreOffice icons are stored, if you go to User, Share, LibreOffice, Share, and then Config, you can see all these different icon themes stored as zip files. So that's where they're going to be. Now, here's my Downloads folder, and you can see where I downloaded these, these different icon themes. And uh, let's see, where's the one? Uh, well, here, for example, here's the LibreOffice Breeze icons. And uh, after I extracted the tar file, you can see they've got both the original uh, Breeze icons and then the dark version. So it's just a simple matter of copying and pasting over. 
or you know in this case you can just drag and drop now there's a little more to it than just doing that because if you go and drag that over um, these dark themes for whatever reason you just by dragging and dropping it will not read that uh, uh, that uh, that folder what you need to do is rename it to the name of one of these I guess you could call them official icon packages um, so what you what I'm gonna do here okay we got images breeze dark I'm gonna rename it as images icon so I'm gonna get rid of the I uh, oxygen icons I'm not going to use them anyway let's go and rename this to images underscore oxygen dot zip and now let's open up LibreOffice Let's go to Tools, Options, View. Let's go to Oxygen. Click OK. And boom, there we have the light version of the breeze, which, you know, very, very much uh, far more visible than the, uh, than the standard version. So let's go and do essentially the same thing with the Cipher icons. And let's see. Ah, here we go. I'll drag that on over. And I'll tell you what, I'll just I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of the original ciphers. And then we'll rename this one. that up. Let's open up LibreOffice again and go to Tools, Options, View, and Cipher, and boom, there we go. We have the white version of the Cipher icons, much more visible uh, than the originals when it comes to dark themes. Now personally, I like the um, I like the look of the breeze over Cipher, but uh, you know both of them aren't bad looking. Um, now, if you like some of the older icon themes, uh, you know you don't have to go through all this because since they're colorful icons, you know they show up just fine on a dark theme. Now, personally, uh, you know I just essentially did this video just uh, you know just to help people out. I've had a couple of, of emails and messages and whatnot on you know good visibility when you're using a dark theme with LibreOffice. Personally I don't like dark, th dark themes. I always go with lighter versions myself but uh, you know so I, but I threw this dark uh, dark theme on here just so that I could do this demo. Anyway that about finishes this video up. Like I said real simple easy to do. Uh, if you got any comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, and I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.